Welcome to another Spreadsheeters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spreadsheeters website. In this video, we'll see how to extract numbers from a cell in Excel. When working with Excel, there may be situations where you need to manipulate the data within a cell. Excel has a number of functions and tools that can uh, help you do this. Uh, this happens especially when you're dealing with textual data such as customer feedback or uh, transcripts and you need to either clean up the data or arrange it in a way that is easy for you to analyze. In this example, we have employee appraisals, which are uh, transcripts, and as you can see, the employee code forms part of the text. So I would like to pull this code out and store it in a different column so that I will know which uh, to which employee the uh, appraisal belongs. So in Excel, this is done using a variety of functions. So we will build the formula with those functions uh, step by step. So the first, uh, the approach we're going to do is to put every character of the text into an array. So first we have to create the array. For this, I use the row function with the indirect uh, function. And in this, the reference I give is the entire length of the uh, string or the text. So I'll just type this and then we will take a look at it. Uh, close the brackets and say enter. I've got an array. So the row function returns a, a reference and indirect converts that into an array. Mm -hmm. Now the length of the array is the length of the text. So the len function returns the length or the number of characters from the string. In this case it is uh, 115. So now uh, we've created an array that starts at 1 and ends at 115. Now the next step is to put each character from this text into the array. So uh, for this we will use the mid function. So the mid function takes the text as the first argument and the next is the start number which is the function that we've already created and the number of characters which in this case is uh, one because I want to put one uh, character in each element of the array. So then close brackets and say enter. And now I can see that each uh, one of these characters in the text has now uh, been placed into this array. Now the next step is, since we want to retrieve only the numbers, I want to get rid of the uh, letters. So to do that, I will multiply this by 1. And let's see what happens when we do that. You press enter. Since uh, letters cannot be multiplied by 1, it returns an error. Excel returns an error and only the numbers are intact, remain as they are because I've multiplied it by 1. Now what I'll do is I have to get rid of these errors. For that, we'll, we'll use the if error function. So what this does is it, it evaluates this expression and if there's an error, it returns this value. In this case, I'm going to specify a blank because I don't need uh, that value at all. And close brackets. And let's see what happens now. Now, since I said if there is an error, return a blank, all the cells that had errors now show blanks and only the numbers remain. Now, the last step is to collapse the array back into a single cell. For that, we'll use the text join function. So here I need to give a delimiter. I don't want the text join function joins all your pieces of text together with the specified delimiter. Here I don't want a delimiter, so I'm just putting a set of double quotes to indicate a blank. Then here I'll mention true because I do want to ignore empty cells. And then this is the text that I want to string together, which is the formula that we have built. So close the brackets and say enter. And there we have the number. So now the number has been extracted from this text. I can just copy this down to the rest of the uh, rows. And I can see that all the numbers have been extracted. This is how to extract numbers from a cell in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.